Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. In last week's video, I expounded on what exactly is the working class and who belongs to the working class. A reader reached out to me afterward to suggest that I could have expanded on people who are part of the working class, but that others wouldn't generally see them as the working class. I thought it was a great suggestion, so I've decided to do a short series expanding on my original video. Each week, I will publish a new video in the series, exploring one of the groups that seems to be sitting outside what people consider to be the working class. The video you are watching now is the first video in the series, and in it, I'm exploring the self-employed. In last week's video, I mentioned that belonging to the working class depends on one's relationship to the means of production. If one owns or controls the means of production, then one belongs to the owning class. Otherwise, one belongs to the working class. As I indicated in my last video, means of production is also called the four factors of production in economics. That is land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Isn't someone who is self-employed considered part of the owning class then? Well, let's use an example someone asked me about on Facebook, a self-employed egg farmer. The egg farmer lives on a small 10-acre farm that they own where they raise their own hens and harvest the eggs themselves. They own the land, they own their own labor, they own the capital, the chicken coop, and any tools they use to harvest, sort, and clean the eggs. And they own the entrepreneurship to tie the other three together. So they seem to own the means of production. Doesn't that make them part of the owning class? Well, here's the thing. They're still having to sell their labor, just like workers employed at some factory. The only difference is that instead of selling their labor to a boss, they sell it to customers. And this goes for any self-employed worker, whether it's a plumber selling their labor to a homeowner with a leaky faucet, an artist selling their bronze sculpture to a municipal government, or an independent labor journalist selling their news articles for monthly subscriptions. Now, this is only the case so long as they continue to be self-employed, and by which I mean that they don't work for anyone else and they don't employ anyone else. As soon as they employ someone else, they're no longer working class. True, they're arguably a petite bourgeoisie, members of the owning class who work alongside their workers, but they're still owning class. So are people who are self-employed part of the working class? Well, strictly speaking, yes. In the sense that self-employed means employing oneself and not employing others. Solidarity.